When I was a younger writer, I had this idea that I would just use a writing group for a few years, and then I'd be smart enough not to need anyone's stupid advice. Now that I've been writing seriously for more than 10 years, well, I still fantasize that I won't need anyone's advice, but I finally get that I'll probably always get something out of outside insight. Now, I previously talked about how to get insight into your writing without other people's feedback. But I think there's also a place uh, where other people can help your writing. So this round, let's talk writing groups. I've been involved in a bunch of writing groups over the years. Some were groups with official teachers. Some were a group of peers. Some were groups that were already in motion. Some were groups that I started myself. Some groups involved reading your stuff out loud. Some groups we had to submit the writing in advance. Some groups we wrote right there on the spot. Anyway, they were all pretty interesting, so I wanted to spew out some of the things I learned over the years. In the first writing group I was ever in, people brought bourbon to class. I noticed that if one person brought a bottle of bourbon, that was pretty productive a night. And when everyone started bringing a bottle of bourbon, it was not so useful for anyone. In this group, we read our pieces aloud. That w I really got a lot out of reading, reading my writing aloud just to get a feel for the voice or the, the emotional power of the piece, or kind of understanding how it flowed at a, on a line-by-line -line kind of basis. It was also great to observe people's reaction to my piece. <sighs> One thing that surprised me very early on is I'd be writing something that I thought was just so morbid and depressing. I'd write it late <laughs> at night, practically weeping while I wrote it. I'd bring it to class and they'd find it hilarious. I, this didn't offend me. It actually was good therapy just to see how funny some of my neuroses really are. Uh, but it really helped me learn comic timing and things like that in my writing. Another good thing about reading aloud is it doesn't require any homework. You don't have to read other people's stuff in advance, which is pretty damn valuable when you're busy. The next group I was in, we submitted our writing in advance. Now, this is pretty interesting to see bigger chunks of a person's writing at a time. It helps you scrutinize the flow of a whole story or essay or multiple chapters in a book. It's easier to see structural problems or plot issues. For me, I, I was pretty early on good at getting some emotional power out of my writing, but I didn't know how to plot a story. I mean, I couldn't even get a guy to leave his bedroom for 30 pages. And this was useful for me just to see that for four pages, they'd be enamored with my voice. And by page nine, uh, they were like, get this guy out of his fucking room. So that, I really like uh, submitting bigger chunks of writing for that purpose. There's a whole spectrum of kinds of writing groups or uh, kinds of formats you can use. You can write on the spot. You can study other people's like published stories. You can read craft books together. So it's important to know what you're looking for at the time. Another thing I learned is how critical personalities are. The wrong personality in a writing group can totally destroy a writing group. I also learned that I, I like encouragement, especially early on. I needed people to just tell me, go, go, keep writing. But pretty quickly, I learned that I want somebody who's direct and blunt, especially if they see what I'm trying to do and they help me do it better and they don't let me get away with anything less. Uh, one woman in a writing group I was in a year ago, she noticed exactly when the voice of the storyteller fell apart. And so she could tell me like on page eight, you lost it. And it's not fun to hear that, like that this story fell apart. But it's so valuable, even if it takes you a week to um, lick your wounds and get back to it. I'm so appreciative for those kind of people. And it's good to be strong enough to handle that feedback and, and learn from it. One thing I learned is that when people really care about each other deeply in a group, that's pretty useful. And when people are having sex with each other in a group, that can mess some things up. You need to feel responsible enough to the others to deliver on a week-to-week -week basis or however often uh, you meet. I noticed one group, we were so casual that, you know, we would just kind of bullshit for 45 minutes and then all go to the bar. That is not so useful. So you need to really get down to business pretty quick with these people. So you need serious writers who treat this not like a social group, but a real serious activity. And sometimes I learned that there are times when it's best not to be in a group at all.